Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is actually a series of tutorials on uh, computer terminologies for high performance computing. Now, uh, in today's tutorial, I'll be explaining you guys some interesting concepts which two interesting concepts you have to keep in mind while fetching and while fetching and handling data between memory cache and ram okay these two these two concepts are called as temporal locality and spatial locality now a terminology might look a little bit uh, too big but it's it's actually simple now now uh, to explain this to explain this let me guys let me explain you guys what's happening over here here's the thing let's say the same process as we uh, as we go, went went before you have your process you have your processor you have your processor you have your cache and your ram okay now here's the thing now process now you're giving this operation a plus b okay you're giving an operation a plus b now here's the thing now your a is somewhere in your in one corner of your ram and b is in another corner of your RAM. Now what happens is that uh, now your processor will fetch the data, will look for A, look for A. If it's available in the cache, it's not, then A will be written and it, A will be fetched in and then return in one cache line, it will be written A and then maybe in some, okay, it will return and then A will be used up. Now, uh, one, more th one more thing, one more thing is, one more thing is when it tries to fetch B, if B is not available in the cache, then this line is cleared and a separate uh, and then uh, B will be written in the cache. Now here's the thing. Now what does spatial and temporal uh, what does spatial and temporal locality mean is as follows. Now here's the thing. What if so I mean in this case what happens in this case what happens is that if the processor wants to access A access A, then the A, if it's not in the cache, it has to, the cache has to go to the RAM, fetch value A, fetch value A. So if you keep the, if they keep the time, if they keep two seconds as the lag between the processor and the cache and 50 seconds between as the lag between the cache and the RAM, to fetch A, it will take 104 seconds. Okay, to fetch A, it will take 104 seconds. To fetch B, it will take 104 seconds. Let's say the cleanup time, you know the cleanup time that cache takes is infinite very small okay just ignore that for a while for simplicity so to fetch a it will take uh, to fetch a it will take 104 seconds fetch b this will take 104 seconds okay and now fetch now add to add add a b add a and b it will take one second so in total this will take about 209 seconds for the 209 seconds uh, okay instead of seconds if you want you can keep it as machine cycles it doesn't machine cycles then it will might that will might be simple to you know it might be easy to relate with um, then it might then it this might be much easier much easier to relate with so if you want you can keep that not a problem the thing is it takes 209 seconds for this entire operation now what is uh, you know temporal uh, no what does temporal locality mean is as follows here a and b are in separate separate locations instead instead okay the processor is here processor cache okay uh, cache and ram is and ram is such that is is here and what i mean is suppose if uh no a is over here b is over here what i do is that uh, if, if if i know that a will be uh, accessed often a will be accessed often okay then uh, what happens is that if i just write a over here in one cache line and b b over here another cache line b over here another cache line okay and then Okay, let's say I want to do this addition. Let's say I want to do this addition like uh, 150 times. Uh, 50 times addition. Meaning, with the same instruction, I'm going to do it 50 times. Okay, now what happens is that, ideally speaking, if I had to go with this uh, notation, if I had to go with this notation, then 50, ti 50 times, 50 additions, additions will take 209 times 50 seconds 
seconds to operate okay isn't it now on the other hand uh, on the other hand what does temporal loca temporal uh, locality means is as follows now what i do is if i during the first addition let's say uh, i just fetch the value of a and b from the memory and keep them and keep it as it is then for the first addition first addition will take 209 seconds fair enough the second addition will take only 1 second why because i don't have to fetch the data again and again and again okay i'm not clearing the cache yeah, usually I just clear the cache right after every addition now I don't do it I don't clear the cache I just let the cache be as it is so what happens is that the first addition will take 209 seconds the second cache I mean second addition will take one second only because the time fetching for I mean the data fetching for A and B is not done so what happens is that uh, what happens is that your speed is increased substantially so what happens is that for 50 additions okay if you play the smart 50 additions will take 209 plus uh, 209 plus 49 seconds that's it this is the now when compared to this this is tremendous speed up this is this is a tremendous speed up if you if you ask me isn't it now this is what you call as uh, time 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 I mean time look and time availability I mean temporal locality okay this is called as temporal locality meaning meaning let's say if you want to use a certain value and fetch a certain value again and again and use that again and again in a processor what you can do is that uh, you can keep them keep the uh, keep the value such that or uh, keep the value such that the value remains in the cache for quite a quite a quite a considerable amount of time thereby the fetching period will be reduced quite drastically okay uh, I think I messed up. I think this will take only five seconds because you know you have to fetch A and B from cache to processor. But anyway, uh, this is again smaller. Okay, fetch A, fetch B, two two seconds each, and one uh, one second for addition. So this is five seconds. So this will be two hundred nine plus forty nine times five seconds. You can do them. You can do the mathematics for it. It's okay. You, 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 as long as you get the concept, it's fine. Okay, that's what. So. This is what is temporal locality. If you want to use certain variables again and again, instead of cleaning up the cache, let them be in the cache itself. Now, how do you do this? This is by how this is defined by how you do the programming. Like now, if you do a programming in such that you, if there are any possibilities where you can keep A and B within the cache itself without being cleaning, then then you uh, you have a you get a tremendous speed up. You get a nice speed up like this one. Okay, you get a nice speed up like this one. This is called as I mean, this is actually called as temporal locality. Now, what spatial locality? Okay, is as follows. Let, let, ex, keep, uh, extending on the same idea as we, we looked at. Okay, you have the same processor, same processor, same cache. Okay, same RAM with a small change. Now, instead of A and B being in separate locations, A and B are together. Now. If A and B are together, now what happen, remember that uh, when you have when, when you have when the cache fetches data, cache fetches data, it fetches data, uh, fetches data in a continuous line. So if A and B are with, with A and B, the sizes of A and B are within the cache line. Let's say, okay, when uh, well, cache line. Let's say when when you fetch A, which when fetch A. Uh, which takes two seconds over here and two and fifty seconds over here. When you fetch A, okay, you uh, it will take hundred and four seconds for fetching up and down. You don't and fetch to fetch B, you need zero seconds because when you fetch A, since B is next to A in the memory location in the cache line, A and B will be on the same will be on the same cache line so fetching of b is automatically done when fetching of a is done along with it so for so for addition so for addition will just take one second one second like that and that's it maybe that's it so here because since, uh, instead of having data in different different lines if you just put them if you put them in the same location you're able to reduce the overall time taken by half approximately half so this process of keeping the data in, 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 in a consecutive memory location so that data can be fetched together 
and be placed in the cache together this is called as spatial locality generally it means just keep the data together keep the data that you want to access again and again together in the ram and there, thereby you make the thereby you make the chances of them being together in the cache so that the data gets accessed and used faster and that's what uh, special locality means so if you so and this is just an explanation of what's happening it has to do with i mean temporal locality has to do with handling and locating data using the same data at different times or different machine cycles sometimes the data same data available in the cache can be simultaneously used to perform multiple operations or the same operation again and again as we saw okay this is recommended instead of bringing the same data again into the cache memory afterwards okay now it will make sense now spatial locality I mean, it has nothing. It has to do with handling the data again and uh, locating and using the data located at several memory locations. If the required data is scattered throughout the memory, then while cache fetching the data, the required data may not be fully available. Okay, let's say you are accessing multiple variables instead of one variable. Then each variable will be in different different parts of the memory uh, in the RAM. So you have to fetch them one after one after the other, which will take time. So, okay. Uh, so this might slow down the process. Instead, the required data is compartmentalized. Compartmentalized. I mean, it is uh, near to each other and are grouped together in consecutive memory locations. Then they can be cached, meaning in win one shot, all of the data that can be required can be uh, fetched in a single line, a single cache line, and then keep placed in the placed in the cache so that you know the job can take job can take place faster this is these two are very essential when you're working with uh, parallel programming stuff you know this comes under a high uh, this will be really useful and when you try to optimize your program to high speeds okay for normal application you can just ignore it but for you know very uh, tricky applications it might be really necessary okay now with that uh, the spatial and temporal locality parts are over in the next tutorial i'll be explaining you guys the threading what's the thre what a thread is multi thread is and what multi processing is in a simple ex in a, with a simple illustration okay um, thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time